Taming apostrophes, when plurals don't need them. Hello everyone. Today we'll be addressing a common question in English grammar. When should you not use apostrophes in plurals? If you've been wondering about this, you're definitely not alone. Misplaced apostrophes in plurals are a common mistake, even for native speakers. Let's clear the confusion. First, let's recall the two main uses of apostrophes in English. 1. To show possession. For example, Mary's book means the book belongs to Mary. 2. To indicate omitted letters in contractions. For example, don't is a contraction of do not. Apostrophes can sometimes appear in plurals, but it's not the norm. We'll delve into this next. Here's the golden rule. Apostrophes should not be used to form the plural of regular nouns, numbers, lowercase letters, or acronyms. Let's look at some examples. Regular nouns, books, cats, tables. Not books, cats, tables. Numbers, 1990s, 747s, size 6s. Not 1990s, 747s, 6 a. Lowercase letters, XS and OS. Not X's and O's. Acronyms, CDs, URLs, MBAs. Not CDs, URLs, MBAs. Remember, the main purpose of the apostrophe is to show possession or indicate an omission, not to form plurals. In English, as you may know, there are always exceptions. For uppercase letters and times, an apostrophe is sometimes used to make the meaning clear. Uppercase letters, mind your P's and Q's. Here, the apostrophes help avoid confusion with the word, as. Times, do's and don'ts of the 1960s. But even here, style guides vary. The important part is to be consistent. So, there you have it. Use apostrophes with care and remember, they're usually not needed in plurals. Just keep in mind the golden rule and the exceptions we've discussed. We hope this has cleared up your apostrophe doubts. Until next time, happy learning!